Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts and I want to talk about mistletoe therapy. Now, this is a therapy that's not widely used in North America, but it is a therapy that is widely used in Europe. So mistletoe is a white berried European mistletoe called Viscum album. It's a medicinal plant that's been used since ancient times. It is widely used in Europe and has been widely used in Europe as a cancer treatment since the 1900s. There's lots of research and scientific publications that support the use of mistletoe therapy. Now what mistletoe therapy does is it helps to stimulate the body's immune system to inhibit the growth of cancer cells. So it's stimulating the immune system specifically against different cancer cells. Now there is specific types of mistletoe that are more effective for different types of cancer. And I will typically consult with Germany to find out which mistletoe is going to be the best for the type of cancer my patient will have to figure out which one we should be using. But what this involves, it involves getting an injection, a subcutaneous injection. Usually we're going into different spots on the abdomen. We're rotating different spots. And we're starting at a low dose and increasing the dose. And according to the patient's reaction, we will find what the therapeutic dose is for that specific person. We are looking for reactions when we do the mistletoe because it is stimulating the immune system. So often the reaction will be like a red itchy spot, usually a circular spot where that injection went in. And there also can be an increase in temperature like a fever. And sometimes people will get flu-like symptoms because we're stimulating that immune system. Mistletoe therapy is a very effective therapy to be used in cancer care and should be one that should be further investigated um, if you are looking at adjunctive therapies for cancer. All right, so thank you so much for listening. I encourage you to share this with your friends and family, to press the like button, to make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health. And I'll see you in the next video.